Hello and welcome. This is Stephanie Lillian, the Medical Mystic, and this is a meditation for emotional healing. Before you get started with this meditation, make sure that you can find a nice, comfortable space, either lying down or sitting up, somewhere where you won't be bothered for the next 10 minutes or so. Once you're there, just gently beginning to close your eyes. Just allow your mind to begin to settle. Allowing thoughts to begin to fade away. Begin to bring the sound of your breath to the forefront. Allowing everything else to just disappear into the background. There's nothing else besides the sound of every inhale and exhale. Allow the soothing sound to relax the body, softening the head, relaxing your shoulders, softening the arms and the hands and relaxing the back body, softening the chest, rib cage, and belly and just taking a moment to feel every inhale and exhale expand and contract the front body. Relaxing the hips and the pelvic area, softening the legs and the feet. Your body is a vessel for your breath. Let every inhale fill you up completely and allow every exhale to just relax you even further. Big breaths, breathing in till there's nothing left to draw in, and exhaling, releasing until you physically cannot press any more air out of you. Nice, full breaths, breathing in and breathing out. Stay focused on your breath, but just listen to the purity of the message that I have for you, the underlying truth that rings within your entire being. You are your emotions. Your emotions are not a separate entity from you. They are what comprise of your being. What you feel, how you interpret the world is everything that is. In order to heal the emotions, we must heal how we interpret our environment. Our emotions are just a readout of how we feel and how we're interpreting all of the signals in the world around us. See, hear, smell, taste, touch. 
All of these senses are a way for us to interpret the environment around us. Our emotions are that sixth sense that we tend to disregard to randomness, something that we just don't understand or can't control. Our emotions are a way for us to understand how we are interpreting the world around us. When we feel good, when we feel in alignment, then we're seeing the truth of our realities. When we feel poorly and in the need of emotional healing, then we're interpreting our environments incorrectly. Whether that's relationships from the past, current situations, or something in the future that we just can't grasp, Emotional healing comes within when you can readjust how you are interpreting your now. So let me ask you this. You are here today. You found this meditation. Why do you feel you need emotional healing? What feels off in your life? What do you feel like you need to heal from? While this can literally be anything, and I won't begin to even guess why you're here, you've been brought here for a very special reason to listen to this meditation. But just know that you are here to hear this. You are healed. You are loved more than you can ever imagine. And you have everything right now that you once wished for. So you must know that deep to your core, everything that you want is on its way to you and will serve your highest good. This world is meant to serve you and you are here to play, laugh, and create. So when you answer the question, what you need emotional healing from, know that your view on whatever it is that you need to be healed from is out of alignment from your loving truth, out of alignment from spirit, your higher self, God, life force, whatever you regard it as. So notice, do you have shoulds, shouldn'ts, needs to, haves to, around the idea of what you need emotional healing from? If yes is the answer to that question, then no, you're out of alignment. And to become healed emotionally, we must realize that everything is happening for us and not to us. That your emotions are not something that you can be healed from, yet they're there to show you the path to healing. So understand if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling depressed, angry, unhappy, whatever it is, know that this is true. That your emotions are here to tell you that something that you're thinking, the way you're interpreting the world around you, is not in alignment with your truth. To the deep down life force within you, you're not viewing things in the light of love. Focus on a couple of deep inhales and exhales. And tune into your body. Begin to feel into how you feel. Describe how your body feels. So if I asked you what your body feels like, what's the first word that pops into mind? Is it a positive feeling or a negative feeling? Trust your intuition. When I 
ask you what you need to be healed from, what comes to mind first. Whatever it is, begin to focus your awareness on it. Notice how it makes your body feel. There will be a physical sensation somewhere in your body. Try to locate where you feel a feeling within when you focus on what you need to be healed from. Scan your body. When you find the physical sensation within, try to describe it. Say three words that describe this feeling. Maybe it's a heaviness in the chest, a poking in the side. Really try to be descriptive. And tell me, is this a good feeling or a bad feeling? If it's a good feeling, then you're emotionally in alignment with your higher self. If it's a bad feeling, you're out of alignment. So if it's a bad feeling, I want you to imagine reaching into where you're having this feeling in the body and imagine taking it out from you and holding it or placing it in front of you. An object should appear in your imagination as you bring this feeling out before you. Observe what is before you and try to describe it to me. Describe it in sensations, using your senses. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Is there a temperature to it? Does it have a smell? Observe it to your fullest extent. And now we are going to interact with this energy. So observing this energy, take a moment and ask this energy what it is. Try to see if just an answer pops up intuitively. Ask it why it's here for you. Ask it what message does it have for you. Ask it if it were to transform into something positive in your life, what it would do or what it would have you do. Now notice, if it transforms into something positive, does it change shape? Does it change what it is? If so, is it something that you would want to invite back into your being? If it is, notice what it transformed into and ask that what it is. Ask it why it's here and what message it has for you. If you would like to invite it back into your being, Invite it back and place it where you originally felt the feeling. If it turned into something or if it's still what it was, repeat this exercise. Keep taking energy out of you where you feel it until you find something that you would like to invite back into yourself. Once you invite it back in, notice how it transforms how you feel. Describe how you feel now, where you feel any feelings within the body. Just breathe into this. No 
noticing how you feel now. We're working with our emotions on an energetic level, realizing that this exercise helps transform our energy to a higher vibrational state, one that's in alignment with love, life force, God energy, whatever you regard it as. Keeping in mind the message that that energetic state had for you. Thanking those energies for showing up for you, for guiding you into a beautiful, healed, if you will, state. Two more biggest breaths yet, breathing into this newfound energy. When you're ready, gently reawakening your body by wiggling the fingers and toes, the wrists and the ankles. If you're lying down, helping yourself to sit up. And we'll all meet with our palms touching at heart center and the eyes closed. Just noticing how you feel now. The realization that you've come to, realizing that your emotions are not something to fight against, to disregard, to ignore, to try to overcome. They are here to guide you, to help you, to warn you when you're out of alignment. When we can cherish them and realize that they're just like any other sense, like seeing, smelling, hearing, tasting, and touching. We can become in harmony with that higher state of being. Bowing to your prayer, bringing the chin to the hands. Taking a big breath and thanking yourself for showing up here today. Thanking your body for how it's taking care of you. thank you for sharing your beautiful energy with me here today. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.